sharpeners have been around for a long time. What made us stand out in the early days was the unique round pin which flex so it can grab the angle on any blade you got. They didn't work like other sharpeners. Our sharpeners work more like chef steels. They're made to flex to follow the original edge, puts the original bevel back in the blades. Sold a lot of them to butcher houses, slaughter houses over the years, and then eventually to public. Now I'm the third generation to make and sell these in my family and I upscaled this sharpener now. This is my new 2014 model. What I did to make it different than my grandpa and dad's model is I added a soft rubber touch so when you place it on a counter they grip good. I put a thumb guide on it so when you're using it in the garage it gives you more control when you're sliding garden tools through them. And, uh, few other times you'll use the thumb guard. It's a handy feature. I also extended the prongs on it so it gave it more spring. And what that does, you can pick up the razor edge easier and um, it gives a, small, a smoother draw through the sharpener itself. I extended the bumper so now you don't have to look for just a square counter to use it on. You can use it on round surfaces. Now for the best results with the sharpeners, for doing any kind of smooth blade, I don't care if it's a $1,200 knife or a $60 knife. You squeeze them in there nice and tight, draw through, the pins flex so they pick up the original bevel on a blade, lines it up with the original edge. Now if you get a knife that's in real bad shape, ain't been sharpened maybe in 15 years, hold it flat on one pin, Press hard, draw through. Do about seven or eight good strikes off of one side. Come back to the other side, draw through. Do the same amount of pulls through, and then bring it back down the middle, and that'll jump it into a 22 degree angle, which 90% of your knives are set at. Now you can grab four degrees either direction quite easy. It's all in the tip of the wrist. A few other things I found about our sharpener, if you work in the cooking field, you can run them through the middle. In the butcher shops, places like that, lines the blade up real quick, go back to processing your meat. Another way, you can pull them across like chef steels now, bring them the other way, and that lifts the edge up on a blade. If you're in a field, you have nowhere to set it down. Hold them in your hands, draw them through. Or a little safer yet, hold it back in your thumb. Lines your edge up, puts the original bevel back in, and they will get them shaving sharp. These are a few colors I got right now. We will be having more colors in the future. Anytime you're purchasing a block sharpener, There'll be a spot in there that says special instructions. That's where you place any promotional codes or the color of a sharpener that you prefer.